And hello, hello, hello again, boys and girls, welcome back to the stream. It is, of course, your host Marley Startled, and today we are going to be playing a new DLC that's just released called uh, Tavliosti, Tav Tav Talvisota, which covers the Finnish campaign. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to pronounce it very well, so I do apologise for all your Finnish guys. All I know is uh, Perkele, which I don't know what that means, but uh, I just will be saying that an awful lot because it's the only Finnish word I know, uh, or Perkele, or whatever it is. Um, but yep, this has just come out uh, yesterday, and uh, I thought we'd give the campaign a go. I've uh, played it already, um, but I thought we'd give it a go on stream, so I'll be doing it in small segments, not big segments. Um, that make it more digestible, because of course it is doing a work time. So, let's uh, select the campaign and select the finished campaign. As you can see, it goes from 1939 to 1945. All the levels are already unlocked, but uh, it starts off early on in the, in, in the war, so you can have some very basic light armour, uh, limited tanks, and of course as the game goes on you start seeing the heavier stuff, but through up to this point it's very much just um, light guns, light armor, that sort of thing. But anyway, through ice and fire, normal difficulty. Oh boy indeed, Tom. Oh boy indeed. After a dispute about border territories, the USSR invades Finland on the 30th. The plan is to attack in three places. In the north toward Kirkenes, in the middle aiming for Oulu, and in the south along both sides of Lake Ladoga. The goal is to take Helsinki in three weeks. After two weeks of fighting, the Soviet offensive approaches the main line of defense, called the Mannerheim Line. Not the this Mannerheim line. line. Stretching from Lake Ladoga to the Finnish Gulf, is the first serious obstacle in the path of the Red Army. So this campaign... Oh, it's gone loud now, hasn't it? So this campaign goes from 1939 to 1945, I believe. So this is the 1939 start of the Finnish War, and then of course it goes on to the Continuation War. But the Finns know very well there is not much else to fall back on, and everything depends on their tenacity stamina and courage to hold the line here there's only one thing they can do fight like hell in this mission you will be commanding the defenses at suma you should make sure to fortify the position and add some trenches and foxholes to fill the last gaps the anti-tank stones will only offer limited protection against breakthroughs by soviet armor keep an eye out for flanking maneuvers counter attack whenever you can You'll have to win this one on guts and courage. Yeah, I'm very, I'm finish. very happy about, uh, luck. yeah, about the uh, the subs. Uh, it looks like everyone was quite happy with the uh, sniper elite gameplay, which I thought was quite good. Um, I'm glad people enjoyed the sniper elite gameplay. But of course, I don't want to keep on playing it because I think I'll do it to death, and I don't want to be playing games just to chase subs um, because I think it's a bit disingenuous. I've enjoyed it, but I'll play it partially and maybe do a few clips, but I don't want to just keep riding on it just purely for viewers. If you know what I mean. I'm just glad people enjoyed it. Uh, no, we're playing as a finish. We're playing the Finny Boys. Percolate! Uh, now, this campaign is very unique because often you're dealing with limited manpower and you're going to have to use a lot of the Russia Soviet equipment because of that. You're not going to be very well equipped. Welcome to the Mannerheim line, soldiers. The Soviets are about to run into the strongest fortifications which our country has to offer. I bet not be a swear word. <laughs> our main bunkers are designed to provide crossfire as the enemy tries to surround them. Anti-tank and machine gun emplacements will make short work of the aggressors. The enemy is already deploying artillery. We expect a full-blown front of assault. Use this time to take positions on the trenches. Oh, the Mannerheim line. So here we are. We've got the boys. So this, the, this level opens up a bit, but generally speaking, you've got this AT gun, which is a very small, light caliber uh, AT gun. But for the nature of the gameplay or the nature of the battle, you'll be dealing with a lot of light vehicles or light tanks, so it doesn't become much of a problem, um, which is good. 
but uh, yeah, generally speaking, you've got this fortification, you've got a couple of MG posts, and as you can already notice, there's not a lot of equipment going about, which is a problem. So immediately we take as many of these as we can, and we decide to go out, up, out up, beyond the wire, and thus cover this area of mines. And then we got our MG guns. Uh, we'll put those guys over here. And then we will put our snipers along the front line here. And then we will put our smaller MG squad. Oh, let's put them there just in case. I wonder if my guys can get out without uh, without things falling apart. And then finally, we'll split our medics up and start splitting them around there. And we'll leave the command there. But we need to go get some equipment. Uh, so over back over here, we can see that we've got a couple of MG uh, supply tents. So we'll go take a supply tent there. That's an engineering one, so we don't care about that. Uh, and we go take this supply vehicle there. But what I will say about this is sometimes the... How do I put it? The game's um, pathfinding in these campaigns can be a bit of a nightmare. So you do have to do a bit of heavy micromanagement to get it working as intended. So, now we split these boys up. We don't want to put them all in one place. That's uh, pain waiting to happen. You probably want to face the right way, guys. Uh, I'll be real with you, Chief. There we are. Let's admire the Finnish, uh, Finnish uniforms, which are looking pretty stunning. Anyway, uh, where were we? Uh, okay. So, let's bring this boy over to our AT gun. And then let's bring the other supply one over this AT gun. Which is just located there. So you can see with the AT guns, their calibers are pretty low caliber, 37mm. But for the nature of the gameplay, it's not going to be that bad for us. We've got another squad here, we can move these guys out. You can see the actual control of these trucks are a bit bruh. And that is a common issue in the, uh, multi in the uh, campaign, is their awkward pathfinding. You probably don't all want to stay there, I'll be honest with you. There we are. So the reason why we're moving these trucks here is because the AT guns have got extremely limited ammo. So we're going to move these bad boys up. Instead of doing it, we're doing it now rather than later, if you know what I mean. Get it nice and close as possible to the AT. And then bail out. So no one targets it. And the medic can just plonk himself down here. Our snipers can split up. Okay. We need more mortars. Uh, we need more glorious anti-tank. And the other truck is there, nice and supplied. We can take this bad boy out now. Oh, well, I would if uh, he could get out. You out you get. Now it's on normal, uh, on harder difficulties, of course, it'd be a bit more challenging. But uh, normal's plenty fine for what it is. So the early, yeah, the first mission isn't that difficult, he says, about to get obliterated. I've got mortars there, and I've got an engineering truck there, which I don't care about. And over here, I have another AT gun. Perhaps it's hard or on more difficult, uh, high difficulties, but I've generally not had any issues. Now let's move our boys back. Actually, let's see if we can make a couple of... Oh, I need to turn on Fog of War. 
blah, blah. Uh, where's my fog of war? Uh, I don't have it. Hmm. I have to turn it on on next on the next level, but hey, -oh. you get a general idea. We'll turn it on next level. But you can see here's the uh, Russian emplacements all ready to go. It's very difficult to attack this because of course they're going to have. Uh... They're going to have lots and lots of. Uh... Well, they've got a couple of light tanks here. So the sort of tanks we'll be dealing with are these sort of things, the tankettes. So that's why we can still pen with our puny guns. And these guys are equipped with AT guns. Boys MK1 AT gun. Wonderful. I do love the starting, uh, starting bombardment, the softening of the defences. Holy crap, that actually hit me. Send this better back over there. Uh, everyone take cover. Okay, first guys are coming, run over here. You guys get over here. Can you guys get out? Hopefully. So the first tanks on their way, but they're just light scout tanks, so we should be alright. What are you shooting at? Stop! Help the bombardment, please! Yeah, it's going to fast start. Oh, that saved the game. Sorry, guys. I just realised I've ruined the cinematic moment for you. I need to take control now because there's lots of enemy tanks. Uh, trying to take control.
Anyone wounded? Nothing too bad. They can potentially set up a little tent here to, uh, to heal people. Let's set up a tent over here. Unfortunately, the fog of war off. <laughs> uh, it makes it less cinematic to see these guys just wander away back across the lines. But hey ho, it is what it is. Another commissar. Mm, that's a late tenant. Run away! In time, I'd like to steal these tanks, but uh, hey ho. Now, what happened to my. Boys. Okay, you guys got back out. Uh, you can set up a. Uh, you can set up over here, I guess. Another tank joins the fray. Can't hit you though. Okay, got his track. Got him. This is why, because we run out of ammo so quickly with these weapons, that's why I brought the, uh, the shucks up. You can't really afford to lose the gun emplacement. Oh crap, and as he says that, he loses the gun emplacement. Now we should be back. We should be good to go again. Gotta make sure none of you guys die because I need them for later. Switch to HE now. Switch to HE, boys. That's the wrong one. Uh, switch back. I meant these guys over here. So far, so good. Some well, of these guys, they use up all their AT weapons of sniping infantry. Um, are you guys pretending to fire? I think you guys are pretending to fire. Nice shot, nice shot. Now what I will say is that probably on a harder difficulty, so it's just normal difficulty, I think on hard they bring out higher tier tanks and things like that. But uh, hey ho, hey ho it is what it is. But generally speaking, your two, the thing that will save you will be these guys, the AT guns, and the AT anti-tank infantry. If those guys go, then you're pretty much done for. There's no real way of saving this level, unless uh, a tank comes into your sort of area of expertise and then perhaps you can repair one of the enemy tanks. <laughs> I 
I do love the models. Like even on the like, medium uh, graphics, it's still beautiful models. That's well done. That's a well done game. And plus, you don't really see the finished campaign either. It frustrates me. Why are you guys lying on the ground? Get up, you coward. There we go. What sort of machine gun is that? Lati Soloranto M26, eh? 20 rounds. Yeah, you got that. Uh, I can't get you onto a decent position to aim. aim. Well, that's uh, a bit embarrassing. What a bad gun. So there's big spaces in between the attacks, which I do notice in the early campaign on medium difficulty. Okay, I'm going to switch out to the uh, next gun. Switch back to AT. We have a Tonk moving over on our left. Take a look at this Tonk. It is. BT-7, eh? I'll let the AI take control of this. And this is why you don't want the, AT, uh, the AI to take over, because they're wasting all the ammunition. And that is a horde of infantry coming down this road. I've got to take control. There we are. How many shots does it take for me to hit this? Not many. Uh, this guy's a bit harder to hit. There we are, that should have been a hit. That should be a hit, he says. That's a hit. That is a wonderful hit. Have it disabled. Switch back to uh, HE. Get these guys re ammoed up. Get the medic over to heal up our wounded soldier there. Get his guy back on up. Stand up, you fools. Nice work, nice work. I don't understand why these guys like to lie on the ground so much. There you are. Stop lying on the ground. I know there's enemy tanks, but after the enemy tanks are gone, you probably want to stand back up. Finish, do love lying down. Hey, time to sniper elite this. I'm just like, <laughs> I am not the white death. Uh, it's a hard and sniper leak. Um... Did I get him? I don't think I did. I got that guy. There we are, Berkeley.
Wish I knew how to crouch. B to crouch? No. It actually serves me weapons, but that's quite useful. Did I get him? I'm not sure. I don't like how each time I fire it zooms me out. Whenever it says something I assume that's a hit. Move. End of mass. Nice shot. Hello, hello, hello. Quick shot on the leg? Nah, that's not gonna work. I can dream though. Okay, back to where you belong. Back over here. I'm gonna medics back. Medics run away. But there's big pauses in the combat on medium difficulty. Which is not bad, it is the first level of the campaign, so it is understandable. It does sort of ramp up later on, but in this in this level, but not enough to be, you know, worth the hassle. But this is of course with for the war. So the next contenders, the T26 M 1933, another tankette. On the right we've got another tankette, the T26. And hordes of infantry coming down the mountain. Okay, they're going on the left this time. Nice. These moments, these little cinematic moments I can really enjoy about the game. And you're not trying hard. Here's a little hint, when the top opens it tends to indicate that the uh, tank has been abandoned or is in a state where it's no longer op useful or operable or whatever you call it. Okay, old tank's down, switch back to HE. But you can see I'd be quickly running out of ammunition if I let the AI do up all of this and that's why I've brought the supply truck forward. Now oddly enough, while the, uh, we mop up the rest of the infantry, um, you have all this at the back, so you've got the mortars, the artillery points, but you never actually use it in this, in, in this mission, at least on normal difficulty. Uh, it's just this area is a sort of unused, which is odd. Maybe, maybe they wanted to make it a harder level, but they just decided not to, so you've got all these sort of positions here and you've got the mortars back here and unless the tanks get into this area they're just unused. I suppose I could move them forward but then I've got, got to move up the supply trucks. You know what? Fortune favours the bold. I guess make a mega a mega mortar pit over here. That won't have any long term issues. Hee <laughs> hee. But I might as well use them because they're not being used right now, so it makes more sense to actually track them out. Now the good thing about this campaign is you get a lot of mortars. Like yeah, the one thing that the Finnish are not lacking is mortars. So a lot of the levels because of how powerful mortals mortars are is a case of move mortars up, blap enemy, move forward and continue on. At least in the early missions. I just love the animations, I just love it and the shadows, oh it's beautiful. It also it runs pretty well as well which I quite like, it's not like overheating, which is nice. It's a very well running, uh, running mission. You guys are back to lying on the floor? Yes you are. 
Oh, we lost one guy. Stand up. I want to finish your light with vodka. Please stand up. Of course, in the actual turrets themselves, you've got a nice little max, a couple of Maxim guns. Lovely stuff. I don't know, I'm all blown to bits from the enemy heavy artillery. Okay. So let's move this up. So you get a little side mission to knock out the, the artillery piece, but I won't do it unless I get a tank close enough to repair. You also have these weird positions where the AT guns are on the side. Uh, we don't like that, so we're going to immediately remove these from this position. I'd rather than fire forward, then fire along the side. And then with that done, we can move this over here. So. And now we've got a valuable position. And then over here, we also have an MG gun, but we can't really use that. Uh, have I got any reserve infantry over in this section? Yes, I do. Move this reserve infantry up here. Spend one of the medics over here. Mortars are close enough to be useful. We have another... Oh, we've got a Maxim gun hidden there. I think we've got also an AT gun there. There we are. Next contenders. So if we go all the way over here, you can see there's the big AT guns, but we won't touch that unless I can move up and uh, get a tank repaired. Guard that artillery. Uh, I've gone to the wrong side of the map. I was trying to get hold of this AT gun over here. Where oh, is it? It's here. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah, being useful. That's right, tanky, out you get. See how long you last. Not very long. Uh, and then we've got one contender left on the left. Sadly, none of these tanks are close enough to warrant risking a repair, so I won't be using any of these tanks, which is a shame. Have these guys got supply? Okay, these guys don't. So I'm going to need to get two guys and see if I can find a nearby supply truck to on over. Uh, supply truck, supply truck, give me a supply truck. Uh, anything over here? There's a sniper lurking there, which is nice, but that have no value to me. Okay, you pick this up. You two pick this up. And then we're going to go over to the right-hand side. Uh, 
Okay, let's move this bad boy over. Still a lot of infantry lurking over there, which I'm not too comfortable with. Our first medium tank, the T-28. These guys are getting pretty close, but still not close enough to risk. That's it. These guys are not in a good spot. Split up, split up you potatoes. But, uh, we must gang together. It's the most combat effective way. Oh, nice. See, these guys are actually MVP. Like the AT guns and our meme in the main game, but actually really useful early on. But this is probably close enough to risk a repair. So I bring a squad over. Sort of, guys, sort of. Just uh, mosey on over here. Okay, you know what? Let's repair behind here. Everyone out. Medic. Okay, you guys ready? Move forward. And then get a repair going. Whoa, hey, you lunatic! The enemy is advancing on the eastern flank. Oh god, this fucking thing. What the hell is that tank? It's a bloody battleship. So this tank is just going to ruin your left flank. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> um, there's nothing you can do about it. There's no hope. You've just got to just <laughs> roll with the punches on this one. How's repair going badly? The SMK, eh? I need to find a tank. I need to actually find a position to knock 
need to find a gun to knock that out. Uh, where is it? It's... Too far on the right. Move up, you potatoes. I need to move forward. And knock this gun out first, it's aiming for me. No! There's nothing, I don't know how to pen it. Anyone got an AT gun? You've got an AT gun. You missed. You fucking missed. Better. That's what, guys. Now, as for you, uh, where are the rest of my medics? You're all running over here. It's a shame. I'm going to have to move some of the troops over to the left. Oh, this whole entire front is dead. Have you got... Yes, you have. Fire. Oh, you're a medic, aren't you? I should have said that earlier. Kill everyone. Can you hit this? No, you can't. Just bail out of that tank. Bail out, bail out, bail out. Bail out, you potato. Thank you. Oh, now get back in it. Get back in it. Jesus. The mortars are just going at it. 
Keep going, mortars. Just do what you need to do. Nightmare. Uh, where's my AT gun? We've got another one over here somewhere. Where did that one go? I can't remember where I put it. How bad he damages us? Can you still fire? That's the question. I'm in a bad spot right now. Oh, these troops are gone. Um... Of AT guns, of AT guns. So this AT gun, I'm going to move you over to the left. Repair this, don't you? Can you guys stand up? No, um, AT guns over here? Any AT guns? No. There's something over here which I haven't spotted yet. Uh, it's an AT gun there. Okay, let's get these boys over. I sure wish I had more AT guns. And these guys are all out of ammo. Got 
Got him. Next target. Final target. And all the tanks are dead. Ooh, okay. So that, that was on normal. I suspect on harder you're going to ha have more human waves. We'll give maybe hard a go and see what it's like on hard. Um, but as you can tell, it's pretty easy early on uh, on normal. Uh, we'll give hard a go and see what it's like. And this time with Fog of War on, with Ice and Fire. Fingers crossed a little bit harder. But of course, this is to demonstrate um, the difficulty, really, this, this part here. See if it's uh, any more of a challenge. I suspect the enemy AI will be harder, but I don't think it'll be hard enough to uh, be too much of a problem. So, first thing first, let's get these guys and this time. Take all of this and put the mines out. Sniper's in the usual spot. They always do a pretty good job here. And then of course, get a medic down to transport the equipment. I wonder if I can set up a sniper over here and just like tell him not to fire and that will give me some line of uh, give me some good arcs. Are you guys are good. You put your mines down, put the final set down over here. Okay, so on harder difficulty you don't get the AT guys. That's a good that's a good point to note that apparently on harder difficulty you don't get the AT gunmen, which is okay, understandable. I wish there was a bush I could hide behind. The bush here. Into the bush. Okay, everyone back. You, you put your weapons down. Everyone back uh, over here.
Mortar. 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 These two carry this over. And these two carry this over. Nice, that's a pretty good arc. Covers the road, won't get spotted. Nice. Pretty workable. This is the slowest truck ever designed. And you boys need another guy on there. You boys move his mortars over here. Uh, you guys all right? There you are. No. Driving simulator. There we are, now you get. Come on. Move right over there. It's, this is what I mean about the path fighting. Sometimes the AI just will not move. everyone to uh, go prone. Any good? Looks good. And these boys can just set up in here. Okay, the, more, the artillery is much more accurate as well than what I've gathered. More likely to hit targets. move this mortar slightly to the left because I feel like these guys are going to get blown up which is always not a good sign. Yeah, mortars are much, well the artillery is much more accurate. They actually are blowing holes in the defences.
So we got our scout over there. A lovely little sniper boy. Like, yeah, they've pretty much destroyed all of that front now, which is a good, which is a good indicator of uh, indicator that of difficulty being increased. There we are. We spotted our moving vehicles. What sort of vehicles are we going to get? Are we going to get more? All right, so we get a tankette. Oh no, we already get tankettes already. This is not a problem. Nice work. And the mortars are doing a bit more constant fire, which is a good point to note. This guy here is just going to be such a boon to me. I'm not going to be too worried about this. We'll see what the main wave looks like, what a, what a main attack wave, and then we'll move on to the next mission to see if it's any harder than what it's supposed to be. Because we've yet to see the actual proper wave. I mean, this was again not very difficult. But then again, I had superior uh, vision. And I think apart from the BT-7, not a lot of mediums came in this engagement. Yeah, I had hoped the Manhattan line would be like hordes and hordes of infantry and would get overrun very quickly, but it feels like this is just uh, sort of a beginning level, just rather slow-paced, not much chaos going on. Hopefully I don't get spotted. Spotted. What a shame. more accurate and they've actually blown up the AT gun. What am I supposed to do about that, eh? Suppose we just take cover. And the, hopefully the mortars will do the damage. Go, mortal, go. Bit of gone stuck, old boy. Well, you are taking quite a pasting. I 
I don't think you can hit him. There you are, you're dead. Lost some troops on the left, but we always have reserves, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's take these guys. Let's take these bad boys up. I mean, they got a little bit closer, but it's not a particularly challenging affair. I mean, they brought out a T20, which uh, does not indicate to me uh, supreme strength, if I'm honest with you. It means I've got to be a bit more careful when I'm microing my men. I can put you up here, maybe. I'll put you up here. No, but I might be able to put you up here. Because you've got binoculars, so if I put you, like, over here... If I put you prone... That didn't work, and you're about to die. Run away! It's slightly harder, but not the end of the world. Like, it's slightly, slightly harder to uh, to win this. I mean, if I had microed my AT gun, then this wouldn't be... The only thing that makes this level difficult is if you lose your AT guns. If you don't lose your AT guns, then this is not challenging in the slightest. Are you going to save scum your way through this level? Take a look at this, uh, these boxes, see if there's anything valuable in here. Dynamite. Nothing in this box over here. Nothing. Any other boxes? Uh, let's take this guy. Can I move you? Yeah, I can. So let's just move you around. Move, move, move. There we are. Okay, you're a bit stuck. Not in the world. I can move you elsewhere. Oh, I'll move over here. No. Jump. No. It's like you're just stuck in there. Uh, get you to check this box. Next wave, anything challenging? A lot of these boxes are just empty for show by the looks of things. Yeah.
and get friendly fire here if I'm not careful. A couple of hordes of infantry. Nothing to cry about. Ah, I think I've seen enough of this level. No, so hard difficulty doesn't make it much harder. It's just uh, they removed the AT guns, making it a bit harder to knock things out of your AT gun. Gets, uh, no, they removed the AT anti rifleman, anti tank rifleman. But um, as long as you micro the AT guns, it's not a problem. Like just just micro the AT guns and it's an easy level. Um, which is a bit disappointing when you think of the mana hard line. You think, you know, human waves, hordes being overrun, but I feel like it's a bit of an underutilized level. Like they've got such, it was supposed to be a, a massive fortification. They're supposed to be, they're supposed to be a churn of troops, but I just, you just don't see it. You just see one wave, a pause, another wave, a pause. And really what they should have done is when you have that mass heavy tank attack, you should have a massive infantry wave to go with it, to sort of push you back. But they never really do that in that level, which is a bit disappointing, but hey-ho. Hey, oh, it is what it is. Anyway, moving on to the Rat Road. December 1939. The middle sector of the Soviet invasion aimed to cut Finland in half is hotly contested. As part of the Soviet plan to capture Oulu, the Red Army has taken Suo Musalmi. In icy conditions, the front line moves back and forth until Finnish reinforcements arrive. The Soviets are eventually driven back by counter-attacks. In order to redress the balance, the Red Army sends reinforcements west along the Rata Road. The Finns quickly redeploy their troops to the east of Suom Salmi, which means they will stand right in the path of the next Soviet attack. The Red Army has no choice but to advance using the Rata Road. It is the only good road that leads to the front line. Since the Finns are marching towards them along the same road, it's only a matter of time until they meet head on. When they do, fierce fighting erupts in the frozen forest. Soon, a series of Finnish flanking attacks splits the 44th Rifle Division in no less than seven separate pockets along the Rata Road. One by one, these pockets are attacked using Moti tactics. In this mission, you will lead the attack on the Haukila pocket. You will need to use the terrain well, and you also need the element of surprise, because you're up against a numerically superior enemy. Your goals are to eliminate the enemy, and to capture as much equipment as possible. Good luck. Good luck! So after the Finnish victory at Sumosalmi, the Red Army sends in a rifle division from the east to Anuna to attack towards the west, past Sumosalmi, in direction of Ulu. The 45th rifle division, however, is confined to Vate Road. After initial contact, a series of Finnish flank attacks begin which splits the Soviet 44th Rifle Division. It is no more than seven pockets each. Uh, sorry guys, one moment. Uh, yes,
Oh, sorry about that, boys. Uh, I had to go away. I'm going to go have a smoke for a moment. Uh, I had a phone call, so there you go. It is the nature of the beast. But before we do this level, I'm just going to go have a cigarette, and then I'll be back, and we will hopefully do this level, and then maybe fit in the next level. But I know the next level is like cold supper, so I may wait for that one for Friday, if you know what I mean, because I don't want to play that level, because cold supper is shit. <laughs> but uh, one moment, guys.
Okay, one moment, boys. And here we go. Press any button to continue. There we are. The enemy is freezing, hungry, and demoralized. Oh, maybe not. Sol soldiers, the enemy is stuck on a nearby road. They have no idea of even circling them, though. Your mission today is to break up the enemy positions and capture as many equipment as possible. So, there's some side objectives to capture equipment. Uh, you don't need to. It's not carried over to the next level, so there's no point doing it. Uh, at least that's what I think, <laughs> anyway. Um, but let's bear that in mind. So, if you want to spend an hour repairing, refueling, and dragging vehicles back to the spawn, and of course, be my guest. Okay, let's do this. So, here's the position. So, up north. So, you've got enemy trucks and convoys on the left, um, if you turned off the fog of war, and some armoured BTRs. Up in the centre, you've got a load of armour that is just not occupied. And so, what you can do is you move up in the centre, take these tanks, and make the level a lot easier. I tend not to use these guys yet. I use the guys down south because they're much more effective. Uh, then, of course, you want to bring your mortars up as soon as you can. And then, of course, once you move the mortars up, get a couple of guys to carry some of the equipment. Just to keep on repairing the armour. Yeah, it's a pretty easy level as well. As long as you use the enemy equipment, you're not going to have too much of an unbearable time of it. And as long as you remember to repair as well, you can have an okay time. It's only if you decide to, you know, just YOLO it, that's when uh, the level becomes a complete mess. So let's move up our artillery. It's just a slow level, it's just a methodical level. It's an interesting one, but it's just a sort of a slow affair. Because you've got to be careful, you've got to move up gradually, you've got to make sure you've got the AT rifles. Otherwise, um, you could end up in a spot, a sticky wicket, uh, so to speak. So it is important that you do bring the... Uh, the ammo box is with you, but this is where the terrain becomes a bit of a nightmare because it's very difficult to actually move the troops where you want them to go on this level for some strange reason. But fortunately, because we're not going to be bringing any of your tanks, this shouldn't be too much of an issue. So mortar, mortar, mortar. Let's form up our mortar pitch and our ammunition next to it. Move up our infantry. What is this? So there. And then move up the infantry there. So this is sort of the general feeling you'll get from the Finnish campaign, at least early on. It's just small amounts of troops moving forward gradually. Taking your time, using enemy equipment against them, and generally being a bit of a nuisance. It's quite a tactical level, not like a large scale battle. Form this up into a squad, let the mortars do their thing. Don't forget to bring up the AT gun. And bring what's left of the infantry forward as well.
So if you do come across things like that ambush, back up the mortars and you're good to go. Crap, I sent, them, I sent the wrong medics. Ah, uh, I sent the wrong medics. Not in the world, let's go be careful with this medic. And then send the anti-tank rifle up. Ground will grind forward. Okay, now we lost our medic. Uh, this is a problem now. So I need to go to the big gun, get a medic off, and get that medic over to repair here. And then get this guy on his gun. Keep on getting pot shot, pot shotted. Which is a shame. I need to go actually get vision on these guys.
Make you see how tedious this level starts early on. It is uh, not a fun level. Not a fun level early on. Someone went. And send the medics back. And send this squad back over here. And continue on the advance. Let's save. I move this artillery up is just a pain as well. Just the path fighting of general just makes it such a frustrating level. I'm sure they don't use up all the ammo here as well. What you don't want. Okay, now you can go far on this. sort of aim over here. That's my entire eight. <laughs> that's my all my artillery gone. So that's uh, a point I need to work out. Come on. Come on.
probably should get that next artillery piece. Uh, let's get these guys off. And let's go get that supply crate. Go, 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 go! Get a couple of these guys, move them over here. Repair this bad boy up. I suspect one of my own mortars blew themselves up. I'll be brutally honest with you. And this is basically the level slowly grinding forward. Well, of course, the RNG of the mortars sort of let me down, but hey ho. Sorry, buy the first set of trucks. We're almost there. Oh, almost there. I mean, we still got this area and this area to push into, but once we get to about here, life gets a lot easier for us because there's a lot of unused tanks we can get into and, um, and use to our advantage. However, the lack of mortars has become a bit of a problem now. Sort of needed those mortars. Yeah, I think those guys blow themselves up. Let's save the game, see if I can keep pushing or not. If I can't keep pushing, then I'll have to wait until the... What is this? Oh, it's only an enemy truck. Come on, you tell me you can't hit this. You can hit this. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, the early levels are pretty um, underwhelming, even on harder difficulties from what I've found. Um, the Manaham line is a bit underwhelming. I had hoped for a larger scale battle, but it is the first mission. It's a different change of playstyle as a finish. As a finish, you're often uh, outmanned and outgunned but your troops are pound for pound better. And so you can generally survive against better odds, but you have to be very conservative with your equipment and go rather slowly. So you have to use captured Russian equipment, otherwise you're just not going to succeed. Um, so it's a bit of a mix between, especially in the early game, of this sort of slowly grinding forward and not uh, not overdoing your, uh, your advantage. Of course, there's the uh, skirmish mode and the skirmish levels I haven't played yet, so uh, maybe they'll give a different sensation. But from what I've felt for the first two or three missions of the finish, you're going to spend most of your time doing this, slowly pushing. Oh yeah, they have a lot of mortars and things like that, absolutely. Um, unfortunately, my mortars got blown up, um, I suspect, by themselves. But um, hey-ho. <laughs> hey-ho. So as you can see, I've got to use the enemy's equipment against them. Against them. If I don't, then um, I'm going to have a real bad time trying to get things done.
gonna take your time. Oh really? HE point blank, no damage. These guns are vicious, that's why I'm being so careful. Because these quad maxims just are like A8. Oh, are, are just insane. Like you can't you, you can't risk trying to push forward against those quad maxims. That needs to go. That needs to go quickly. Oh, I'm gonna die. Luckily, I don't think he can get depression on me. Come on. There we are. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. I think there's another quad ma uh, there's another big boy over here somewhere as well that I've got to be careful of. I do like it being early war um, and the fact that AT guns do work against tankettes and things like that. I did find that enjoyable. Sometimes in the late game it just becomes who has the bigger tank. And you do have to be rather resource intensive. So it's nice to actually have 37mm that are actually useful. So here's some captured artillery pieces we can use. That's an enemy machine gun they can hopefully knock out. There we are. That'd be stuck. Goodbye. It's just nice seeing all these like three World War II <gasps> meme tanks. Which normally you wouldn't actually consider useful. Should I take the risk? I'm going to take the risk. And move this bad boy up. Good thing this wheeled vehicle can knock down trees. Not today, boys. What makes the gun penetrate better against armor? Uh, APHE. Uh, I just died. Okay. Uh, APHE makes uh, the gun penetrate better against armor. Um, or AP weapons. Otherwise, you're going to lose badly. Gotta be careful here because they may fire on me. I need to go get that resupply. Where is it? Yeah. Now I'm pretty sure that enemy tank is there, uh, but I may be wrong. I'm going to have to send a guy up to spot. There we are, there he is. 
You go fire on this bad boy. He's over here somewhere, but I can't get a shot on him. And then there's another tank over here about to screw me up. Yeah, so this won't pen, but now if we switch to APHE. You should see a marked difference in ability. Yeah. Medic. Over here. Weapon down, switch fire, turn left, switch to HE. Yeah, so these weapons are just vicious. Can I get a shot off on him? I can't, I gotta move forward. Switch fire, switch fire right, and get aim low enough. Come on, oh, shit. Everyone out. Everyone out, everyone out, come on. Get out, get out, get out. Nope, okay. Now we have a problem. Now we have a problem. <clears throat> I may have to reload. I'm going to have to reload. I could try and push on, but I'm not going to. That's a long level. It's just one of those levels where you've got to be slow. Well, because I lost that truck, it's pretty much doomed from the start. Like, you can do it without the truck, but as you can tell, with those sort of guns, you can just lose your entire squad in seconds. And plus, losing that artillery was just a nightmare. Like, normally I'd be able to rely on the artillery now just to sort of clean up, but unfortunately, because of the nature of what happened to my artillery, um, Oh, my mortars, I ended up in a bit of a shitty situation. I believe there's an artillery position over here somewhere, so if I take this guy, uh, and there's a mortar there which I can use, that's a recoilless rifle, which is no value to me. I'm sure there's a mortar somewhere. Where's this mortar? No idea. Did I send a squad over here? I don't think I did. Oh yeah, I've got ammunition. Hmm. This is going to be a slow one. Like, I know where the enemy tank is now, but I've just got to be very careful because I've got to clean this up again. And I've got to clean this position out and clean this position out. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. What if I send a guy out? Just to do some spotting. Mm 
Okay, vehicle repaired, and we take our time. We are becoming one with nature, that's what we're doing. Save the game. Save scum time. Crack out the save scum. I know there's a position there. It is. There's an Emmy right next to us, and now we're on fire. Wonderful. Wonderful. Ambushed. By a Molotov. Please don't set fire to me. Oh, thank God. And now we have to snipe this piece of garbage again. Save game. Because all it takes is one shot and you're back to the bloody start again, so... I am unsympathetic to... Uh, repeating this over and over. Far away, have fun. And see if I can find another artillery piece. I need another artillery piece, really. I can't just keep doing this because I'm just going to go mad. I'm literally going to start dribbling. Back to spawn. Get me this artillery piece. It's not a very good one, but it'll do. It'll do the job. And then withdraw this back because I need to put another soldier in it to get maximum efficiency. Because I've got one guy can't see switching seats, which is not workable. Okay. Where's one of my boys? Get up. Uh, MG guy? No, I want a rifleman, really. Stop. What are you doing? There we are. So, it, Fog of War makes things a lot difficult. <laughs> a lot harder. Like, a lot harder. Um, I remember playing this level of the Fog of War off and I was like, ah, I can see exactly where everyone is. Crack out the mortars. Time to mortar spam. Save game. Go nuts. Hello, machine gunner. Goodbye, machine gunner. I've got 13 rounds of HE left. Uh, I need to knock out the bad, bad. There it is. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're better than that. All right. Who will win? Tanket versus Stalin truck. Truck of communism, please, truck of communism. Thank you, truck of communism. Now we switch to HE. Blow this thing up. And resume. What have we got coming towards us? We have got Babby's Amphibious Tank. Okay. Goodbye, Babby's Amphibious Tank. 
Uh, you can take over again. Infantry can start moving forward again. And then we no longer have to cry. But the trick is getting hold of... Not those tanks, there's more tanks elsewhere along this line. These tanks here. Once you get these tanks, the game becomes easy mode. So, first thing first. Let's go get in these bad boys. Please, Stalin truck of communism. I see you're going to be, that's nothing but a nightmare to me. Get in this tank, get in this tank. You infantry, get in this tank. Get in this tank. And then these guys get in this tank. And we should be good. Yeah, we're good. Now we can bully. Halt movement, please. Halt, halt, halt. If you see a target, shoot it. And now you can just chill. You're good now. The game has become easy mode. The only way this level becomes a nightmare is either you lose all your troops before you get to this point or um, you lose the tanks to some bad AT guns. Now, if you want to, you can do these secondary objectives, but there's no point doing them because they don't carry over to the next level. At least I don't think they do anyway, so... Um, I didn't really finish the next level because of how packed to them in this game, but I guess not. So we send this one soldier up to do spotting for us. We make sure they're not on uh, set to engage. Now, maybe on harder difficulties, the enemy actually occupies these tanks, but I haven't seen the enemy actually bother ever occupying these tanks. Maybe if you take too long to occupy it, but very rarely do I actually see them do anything worth being concerned about. So it's just one of those levels. I mean, it, it's not a bad level. It's unique in regards, but it's not a unique challenge is just uh, do what you've done previously in uh, Gates of Hell games but just do it to 11 and also here's 11 waters enjoy now I'm going to save the game here just in case I'm, I'm wrong 
and I do actually need these weapons next time for the next level. In which case, because I've already cleared off the map, then I can just go and sort things out. However, I will do that off stream if I realise I am wrong, and then we'll do the next level after. The thing that really grates me on this level is the pathfinding, like the tanks and that, and trying to move all the artillery pieces is awful on this level. Just absolutely awful, because they get stuck on trees, they get jammed. Now, if I am wrong, and, uh, well, now, if, if it's hard difficulty, and maybe if hard difficulty does make sure these these vehicles don't have fuel at the start, there are fuel tanks all the way over here. So what you can do is refuel, bring the tanks, uh, bring the fuel the tanks over to the tanks, get in the tanks, um, and the tanks will refuel, and then you can go back and finish the level. But that's only if I'm wrong, you know. Uh, because these tanks have got fuel in, but a normal maybe they won't have fuel in. So uh, what you may need to do is, like all of these tanks won't have fuel in, you have to go and refuel them. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a nose. But this just becomes a mop-up level now. Once you get in the tanks and you've cleared out the AT guns, the only thing that really would concern you is this, this, this AT gun here. Um, if that AT gun does not get knocked out, then you are going to probably lose your tanks. And then you're going to have to go through the rigmarole of repairing and all that sort of thing. That's obviously going to have enemy positions on it. Hello, what is that? Oh, it's a garbage MG gun. Can you hit it? I believe... Yes, you can hit it. Okay, let's send the infantry up. Let's turn them on free movement. So when they move up, they'll move up uh, together. Now we have to do so much heavy micro. Hello. Don't move. Stay by this fire. Oh, the worst ambush ever. Are you joking? How are you struggling? There you are. Uh, tanks on fire, tanks on fire. Everyone out, everyone out. So this is the thing you've got to be worried about. Literally the only thing you're going to be worried That's why I don't attack on this flank, because you've got no mortars and these things will wipe you out. They're, they're quad maxims. And so <laughs> they're just brute. They're just brute. And there's nothing to be gained by getting brutted. Where's my other tanks? Let's bring this other tank up here.
just a fiddly level. A really packed fiddly level. Tank can go over here. And this tank can go over here as well. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there is an enemy tank over here that is actually potentially dangerous. So if I... Okay, maybe not. So really, when I first played this, I first really enjoyed Manaheim, but then I felt I was a bit underwhelming, it could have done more, and then doing this level as well, it also was a bit underwhelming, because it wasn't anything new, it was just do the same with less resources, and then we'll give you a load of resources you can take along the way. Um, but it is fun when you do get the tanks, and suddenly the level becomes a lot easier, and you no longer have to worry so much. But it's just the early part when you're struggling to move the mortars forward because they keep on getting stuck in the scenery. That's really what winds you up. Anyway, well done. With the victory secured, we can now breathe a sigh of relief. Ulu is now out of the reach of the Soviets. There is a guy here from HQ. He's going to take photographs of this carnage now. They request it so they can use such photographs for propaganda leaflets. This will be aimed at Soviet soldiers, telling them that they will also meet white death when they try again. Stalin's big guns. The Finnish army is advancing towards Leningrad. At Aino Station, Soviet troops are stranded because the railroad is blocked by the sabotage locomotive. Among stranded units are two railroad guns and crew. They are supposed to withdraw from the front, but their movement orders have arrived too late. Then the Finns arrive and the station becomes a scene of a bitter struggle. In this mission, you will be in charge of the attack. Use your tactical skill to break the Soviet defensive perimeter. Make sure you take those rail, gun rail guns intact. We could use them very well. Now, the reason why I didn't do any of the secondary stuff is because I, when I first played the start of this, none of the tanks appeared, none of the resources appeared. Now, if, this, if I do the first part of this and it turns out I needed to do all of this stuff and I'm in a bad spot, then of course I will uh, redirect and change things around. Soldiers, the enemy is retreating, but the, our Air Force has informed us that their progress has come to a halt. This is a great opportunity to seize a vital piece of equipment and turn the tide of the war. It's also cold supper during the day, so this is an absolutely awful level. I hope you enjoy cold supper. Your objective today is to secure a set of Soviet long railway guns. Move northward through the woods until you reach the railway tracks and await further instructions. Avoid unnecessary engagements with the enemy. We do not have the manpower to spare. Stick to the point. So you could try and play this as a proper engagement level. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not particularly fun. <laughs> so if you go over here, there is an AT gun you can use. And further north, there's some armoured vehicles that are occupied. There's one of them here. There's another one further up north as well. So if you are playing aggressive, then my high, I highly recommend you go for this gun. If you're not playing aggressive forever and you're playing uh, unaggressively, then I recommend you take all of these boys, tell them to hold fire, and then you've got to play the worst part of this level. Are you ready for it, kids? It's cold. Fall on the ground. Preferably one at a time, depending on how impatient you are along the corners of the map. Oh, 
or get engaged straight away. I don't really understand how you guys are following us already, but uh, hey ho. Cold supper, boys! Oh god, I love cold supper. Cold supper, best day of my life. Needs more cold supper. I don't know why men of war. I know men, there's some people who do enjoy that sort of commandos tactical aspect, but that's so awful because you, you just because the way this game works, one shot can be the difference between success and immense failure. And uh, if you lose that one tank, then the game is over. You may as well stop playing. Well, in Cold Supper, you, it's, it's the same, but instead of a tank, you've got a soldier. And it's like, ah, you have a choice. Either lose all the soldiers and die. So, like, these guys are sacrificial lambs anyway. These guys are sacrificial lambs. Nice shot, nice shot guys. What do you mean you're out of ammo? Aren't you supposed to be equipped with a sniper rifle? Oh no, you're like a medic. Oh, you can go crawl over here, Mr. Medic. God, he's facing the wrong way. <laughs> Save the game again. Go loud. Try not to die. Throw some smoke. Lock up the field of view. Move over here. Try not to die. I hold you.
great fun. How close did we get to the objective before we died? Not very close, I have eight wager. Calls, reload. It says don't do any unnecessary engagements, but I feel like we should be going towards that AT gun. <laughs> I feel like that's this is a red herring, this is a trap. It's like, oh yeah, let's go towards the gun, guys. And it's like, ah, oh, I've just died. So I want you to move along there, move along here and capture this position, but you don't give us you don't give me anything to use. Alright, let's stand there, let's lie there and hope for the best. And we'll hopefully just bait the troops in. And hopefully not run out of ammo while doing it. Taking control. Me, how are you not dead? You know what? Not my problem. They'll run out of am ammunition eventually. <laughs> They'll run out of ammunition oh, eventually. What are you shooting at? Snipers, get in this truck. Got an MG in it, yes? Good. Oh, 
Good, we're going on a journey. Uh, journey failed. Choo choo! Choo choo! Do do do! Do 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 do! Do do do! Choo choo! Pretty sure I saw someone over here as well. Ah! Nope. Not today, son. Okay, do what you want now. Actually, move over here. Go! Go, little fella, go! Good. I'll leave you to it now. You know what? I don't think I can trust you enough to leave you to it. How much ammo have I got on this bam? <laughs> Enough. Literally single handing. <laughs> it's just one of those one of those levels, isn't it? That's one of those levels where you just run around in one dinky vehicle being genuinely disgusting. Come on. Stop ducking. It screws me up. Okay, retake the wheel, guys. Retake the wheel. Alright, you two. Move over here. Alright, this is a problem. Yeah, as soon as I knock micro, all my guys decide to be idiots. Can I repair this? I cannot. So all I've got left is this motley crew of imbeciles. What a silly level. <laughs> this level is just like... 
idiotic. Designed to piss me off. I'm literally just, <laughs> there's levels just like, what can we make that is almost as bad as cold stuff? Don't worry, I got you, fam. I mean, it's not even hard, it's just bloody frustrating. It's literally <laughs> go as slow as possible and pick off the hordes of Soviets with your captured meme tank. But watch out. They've got AT guys, so you can't be too aggressive, so you've got to snipe with your meme tank. But if you lose it, you may as well restart. I'm leaving this here. Where are you two going? Please move forward some more. Yes, thank you. You've got to move a lot closer than that. I hate you. Game, I hate you. Throw the fucking thing. Why are you getting so close to throw it? I fucking hate you, game. God. Someone hold me back. I'm keeping that save because RNG may save me on that level. Who thought this was a good idea? Look, it's a lie. It even tells you to go that way. It's a lie. The game is a lie. Uh, you telling me you can't see these guys? Yeah, I thought so. Take your time, Snipes McGee. Give him direct control. Get out of the way! Mm. 
the cold supper of my life. Shoot, shoot, please. Look, I know the vodka's been strong, but surely you can prioritize targets. They can't prioritize targets. The idea of prioritizing. <laughs> right. yeah. Shoot him. Thank you. The medic's actually doing his job. Turn it, turn it, turn it, please, please turn it. Turn this fuck around, or I'm going to try, all right? You have one job to shoot this. There's a supply truck here. How are you out of ammo? Comrade, I'm out of ammo. Because it's got no supply in it. Wonderful. Get in the meme vehicle. I'm speechless. I have to, you have to laugh, otherwise you end up crying. Percolate yourself. Now send this bad boy up. Now this is damaged so I can repair it. So I know I have two meme vehicles of absolute garbage I can use. But don't worry, they're going to get AT rifled. I'm going to need you to shoot at this. Can you do this for me? Can you shoot at this without dying? No, you can't. Go over here. There we are. But no one has died magically, so I'm quite happy with that. Job for it, all right. There we are. And a random horse.
the level ends with us taking this this artillery piece. This will be the worst level in the game thus far. It's better move on to some grand battle. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be I'm gonna cry. This level, this is the pain at the start. I'm hoping there's a payoff here. But if there's no payoff. Improved AI guys, improved AI. Should we shoot the man out in the open? Or should we shoot the man in cover? Let's let's see what the AI does. Do 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 let's drive it through a fucking truck. Send the rest of the gang up. Fuck it. Like why? Why? Swear to God, Hoss. You're lucky I'm streaming otherwise. <laughs> Peter would be crying right now. There's someone in the house. I know there's someone in the house. Bring the medics up. The only thing what's actually making me remotely happy about this level is the snipers. The snipers are actually doing God's work. Please don't do what I think you're going to do. No! I need to save more often, that's what I've learned from this. That's fine, the ve the that vehicle is almost repaired. This vehicle is probably better than the other vehicle. So, I'm not crying. I'm not mold. I'm not mold. Go on, stick your head back up. It's the magic tree, the magic fucking tree. Good 
You're getting shot at and you need healing. How much of how much of this have you got? You got enough to not make me cry, okay. I'm gonna have to save scum here. Save scum. Save scum. What is shooting at me over there? No idea. But I can't go over there by the looks of things. So I guess there's another part of this level. How's repairs going? Good, vehicle repaired. Okay, I need a commander now, so we'll get a commander in here. Save game. Load game. Save game, load game. Use your tactical skill, which basically means grind against the hordes of infantry. Oh. oh god. I wonder if I move these guys over here, whether or not I have a better chance. Also, another point I'd like to note. So if I move everyone back over to the left, This works because you can actually fire over here. So if I move this vehicle back over here, this actually works in my favour somewhat. Okay, 
Now where's the enemy? I can't see him because... Up there. Okay, the snipers are MVP. Like, without the snipers, this level is impossible. Like, they actually m remove the stuff from the hard points. So the game wants me to move up along here and along. I can do that game. At immense personal and mental co <laughs> at immense mental cost. No the medics. Come over here then. Quickly take control. Okay, yeah, okay, I can do that. I can quickly take control of the next gun. It only took me like 30 minutes just to drag my way through here. This is going to be a YOLO. And there's one guy left over here. There we are. Bring the boys up. And that looks like an artillery piece. Now, I can potentially do some indirect fire. Uh, you all switch to... I don't really want the medics here with us, so uh, maybe it's going to go this way. Move along. Why would you move along here? It's insanity. Surely they should have given given you know, given more weapons than, than what they've given me right now. Surely they didn't do this in real life. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. So once again we played a dangerous game, try and knock out the artillery piece before it kills us. There we are. 
that. Chill out. Don't mortar me, please. Heal yourselves up. Can't go. I can't aim further to the left. It's got to be this way. This has got to be the. Right answer to the question. What is shooting at this guy? Medics quickly over here. Artillery piece keep moving up this way, up the road. You know the drill medics, move over there, move over there. Then what's left of the squad over here. There's a mortar there. Okay, I've got to take control of this because it, it cannot control itself. Berkele! There we are. Now all you got to do is go along here. Slow. And there. And I gotta reload. <clears throat> I wonder if I can just YOLO. Perhaps that is the correct answer to this question. That's the YOLO down the center. Wait, wait, you wait. You're gonna YOLO it. I'm gonna YOLO our way down here. And if we die, we die, and if we don't, we don't. This is achievable. The YOLO is achievable. Just a 
little bit of finesse and the YOLO will, will give us the victory we so desperately need. <laughs> It is cold supper times too. It's just running around, memeing it, and being a potato. So we go along here. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Oh look, more troops. Two shot, I'm gonna die. I'm zooming direct control again. Two shot. Please stop being shocked. I'm happy with that. I live with that. How do you win this? How do you win this? Because you're getting mort to hell at the same time you're trying to clear it out. It's just an awful, 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 awful mission. Surely you'd get some reinforcements or something like that, but nope, it's just like that. Good luck, try not to lose your only machine gun armor proof vehicle, otherwise you are fucked. Okay, let's save the game. It's gonna be have to be save scum zone. It's literally gonna have to be nothing but save scum. The one vehicle that will potentially not make me die. There's a mortar there, but I can't hear it. Stop killing me. Stop killing me. Right, where's the mortar? The mortar's there. Okay, now I know where the mortar is, we can fix it. So with the artillery piece down and the mortar down, 
that just leaves that one AT with a coilless rifle. With that down, we should be good. Good, and then we turn left, and we run. Let me save. And drive over here. Bot this. Kill that. Mortar's down. I can't take control anymore. There we are. Save game, save's gone. Die. What was that from? That's from the recoilless rifle. Okay. The recoilless rifle needs to be the next on the chopping block, but I've got to be fast and I've just got to be quick and just go round it, YOLO it, and then we should be good. I've only got 56 lit wee litres of fuel left, so I've got to bear that in mind. Like, there's so many Russian infantry as well. Like, it's not a fair level. It's not like... <laughs> it's not a fair level. You don't even have, like, the element of surprise half the time. That's me dead. That's me dead. That's me dead. No, we got lucky. Where is that recoilless rifle coming from? Where is it coming from? This guy? What's the objective here? Capture the remaining ray with a gun. It shouldn't be hard to drive these guys off. Let's have a little bit of... Uh, that's an AT gun. And I'm dead. But that was working. <laughs> that was working. <laughs> it's always the worst strategies in this game that work. Why go slow and steady where you just meme it? Oh. Move this back over here. Gotta move you back over here and I'm gonna have to move this artillery piece up over here.
Come on. Take our time now. We've cleared out the big the big problems. We've actually ran out of ammo, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, take one of these guys off, and then you can get on here. They sure love throwing grenades, don't they? Bring up the medics. Good work, guys. Very proud of you. Got one shot left. I'll take that. Medics build a tent. This is this is the level. <laughs> this is the level. Once you go to the mortars and that, this is the level, which is uh, wonderful. That's incessant pot shots and memeing it. Alright, any bodies I can search. Any bodies, any bodies. I need some bodies now. None, so you go back over here and then these guys can keep moving forward. Yeah, 
I mean, I'm not even. I'm mad. I'm so fucking mad. <laughs> I'm fucking mad. This is this level is disgusting. Come on, you can search him. There you are, and switch your weapon. They saved the game because we've actually made some progress here. See if we can meme it down. Start using the mortar now. Get on this mortar. Get on the mortar without dying, probably. Now fire at your heart's content. There's a sniper. I get shot on him. Maybe. you're low on ammo again so I need to go get some ammo for you I wonder if I can get a guy up here to help on that mortar Probably not, but you never know. Nice. 
Where is the medic? Last grenade. There we are. Did I get a second guy up here? Yes, I did. The gun is ours. Now we need to secure him. <laughs> but the enemy peasant is threatening the operation and may need to draw the service of the settlement. He's in a village to ground if you need to. Give me more troops. I hope the service from the village would help me very well. I have no more troops left. This is not the payoff I was hoping. Four. Why have I got two troops here? I only wanted one. You may fire at will if you so choose. You've decided to fire in the wrong direction. Wonderful. How much ammo has this railway gun got? Oh god, it's got so much. Thank god. Stop firing on this position here. Where's this enemy? Okay, the enemy is there. So, first things first, Mr. Railgun, I want you to fire on this fellow.
Return fire if you're getting shot at. Uh, this. Keep control. Wasn't that fun? Alright, where's the rest of the troops? Get a sniper out. I need a sniper. And then get one of you guys in. And then everyone else move over here. I don't think so, Mr. Tanket. There's bound to be something here. The payoff isn't good enough. The payoff is not good enough. It takes ages to load. The AI likes to move the turret around like a potato. Okay, gun, move over here. Enemy tank moving over on the left, which we need to deal with. Okay, where is it? Show it to me. Let's say on the right. Tankette, please don't kill me. Tank get dead. Good. Next target. Let's just level the village. Let's level the fucking village.
say, where is this infantry? That's everywhere. The infantry is everywhere. Let's go blow this up instead because I know I can see these guys. Probably want to start firing, boys, because you're about to get overrun. Good enough. You guys are still alive, just about. Oh, I had another sniper somewhere. I guess he got the good news. Who's firing now? I mean, that's one way of doing it, but not really the way I planned. Sniper died. This level is not fun. Like, this level had potential, and it's just not fun. Oh, I've got troops on this mortar as well I can bring down. Hello, I see you. That was probably a miss, so I need to tell it to keep on following on this position. And get the ammo guy back, who's the one without ammo? It's just because you've got to do so much busy work going back and forth. Yeah, no, 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 no. Do I really need that many men? Take out one and bring him up here. 
I heard the one without any ammo. I just keep searching these guys. Can I heal this guy? Probably not. I'm going to take one more guy out to heal. Take the risk, save the game because this is just going to be another grind of a mission. Come on, that's so much ammunition. You should be <laughs> quids in for the rest of the game, boys. Uh, now I'm just going to search around to get some medkits. Nothing. Let's move these guys back up. Oh, I've just heard it's from the village. I saw where that came from, so if I just get the medic, heal this guy up, and then get this artillery spot. Is that concentration of infantry over here? I have to fire on here, and it will not hit anything because that'd be too easy. Oh, I'm giving something, game, please. Just let me hit this target. I know we've had our differences, but this level has broken me. Thank you, game. I needed that. Okay, now I need to send the medic back up. I need to send these guys back, really.
get this medic over here. And then this artillery. I think it was over here somewhere. Yeah, it's here. If I fire at this, I think I'll hit the target. Hearing the sound of moving trucks. Everyone healed up. So we've got to go again, and again, and again, it's just constant grind forward. Now, to make this level better, they should have just added some reinforcements, just even if it's like some a small amount of troops, just to make up the losses you had earlier. Because this level requires you to be overly cautious, to the point where the level becomes repetitive. Okay, looks like there's some sort of gunfire over here. There it is. That's the target. I don't think I'll be able to knock it out. Okay, that's, that's got to have knocked it out. That's got to have knocked it out. I refuse to believe it hasn't. Once again, save scum and resume. Get in. Shoot him. Shoot him. Okay, now we can work this out. So where is the enemy? Okay, the enemy is there. So all of these guys take cover. And then these guys can fire. And I've lost all my troops, so I've got to load the save scum. Game! Game, 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 game. They've completely botched this level. This level is not 
light in the slightest. It's a botched level. I mean, yeah, you get, it's achievable, but it's just not fun to achieve. All I'm doing is firing blindly with a slow, loading, a slow loading high explosive weapon that has low accuracy and I can't move forward because if I move forward the enemy tanks will wipe me out. It's just bad, it's just bad game design. Like yeah you can go stealthy and move forward but then the AI goes uh... Then the AI goes aggressive and then you've got to go through the level trying to like hide from the enemy you end up in contact because the AI goes towards the sound of the gunfire so if you set up a guy to spot oh what happens is your guy gets mobbed by like 20 cannon fodder you're fun to achieve it's not fun this this level is not fun no one made a mistake when they made this level This is not riveting game. Like Men of War, I understand there is Cold Supper and there's a, and, and there's a sort of a tactical side to some of the levels. But this is uh, farcical. I mean, it was fun. The first couple of levels were fun, but it's just this third level, Stalin's big gun. You think it's going to be a great level. You're going to do lots of, like, explosions. It's going to evolve into some massive battle. But it's just this really low tactical battle, which is garbage. Which is absolutely hot garbage. And it just forces saves coming. Yeah, this is the... Uh, Fitness DLC, so yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the new DLC that's been released. Uh, doing the main campaign, this is the third level where you've got a tactical squad and you've got to move forward and you've got to seize the gun against ridiculous amounts of Soviet troops and then you've got to push them out of a village to, uh, to win the level. But it gives you one squad and if you lose the squad, it's game over. And it gives you ridiculous amounts of, uh, of Soviet troops you've got to fight. I've noticed you've got a nice cool little logo. Looking good, bro. Looking good. I did take a look at that um, Warhammer game, but I think I'm going to wait for the other Warhammer to come out. Uh, Warhammer Dark Tide instead. The cool looking, uh, cool looking logo. What is it of? I can't really zoom in on it. So here's what I mean. I, I, I can't move forward. If I dare move forward, I'm going to die. Yeah, wait, yeah, I'm waiting for Warhammer Dark Tide. That's what I'm doing. Because I want to play as an Imperial Guardsman or as close to an Imperial Guardsman as possible. I, just, I assume they're going to have like an Imperial Guardsman class.
probably won't replay Modern Warfare 2. Um, just because they're always so expensive when they get re-released. I'd get it on sale, but it's such an old game. Even if it's a remaster, it's not really worth it. This game is doing this on purpose to troll me now. Uh, but the Callisto Project, that looks like an interesting horror game I want to play. That's just it's been, uh, what do you call it, that's been trailered by the same guys who did Dead Space. firing on this, eh? You just keep firing on this. Everyone else just move forward. Oh, yeah, I, I try not to think about it. Like, this level's broken me. This level has broken me. I need to move these guys back over here. I'm going to fire on this. I've only got 45 shots left. Yeah, this level's dumb. This level is dumb. It's like, it's so unforgiving that you have to play like this, otherwise it becomes an unbearable level. And you have to constantly save scum. Bear in mind, this is like the second part of the level. It's not even the first part. The first part was actually getting to the gun in the first place. And it's not even a stealth mission, you can't be stealth in this mission, you've just got to be like hyper aggressive. And I've got, because I know this will mow me down, I can't even move forward enough to, like, to kill it with my own troops. Now, someone thought this was a good idea. Let that be known that someone sat down and said, this is a good idea.
like I understand the finish. No worries, have a good one, though. <gasps> like I understand like it is the finish, and so of course in the campaign you're going to be surrounded, and you're going to well, you're going to have you know numerical inferiority. But come on, there's you can change it a little bit just for gameplay sake. Bring these guys back. I'm not going to save the game now because the RNG shot. Literally getting trolled by the game. Lol lol lol, here's a random cow running past. Fire and forget, please fire and forget. Okay, that's gone over, and I was going to hit this guy. Direct hit should knock it out. I've got 39 shells. You're telling me I can't hit this on 39 shells? I don't think I'm even halfway through the village yet either. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I refuse to do that. We're going elsewhere. So we came from over here. I know you're there, Mr. Mortar. I'm trying to deal with you. Oh, 
Feel free to shoot him. I'll do it for you. Stay here. Stay here, you potato. Nice and close, Mr. Tank. Why do you have to get so close to use A? Eh? That wasn't that fun. So you're low on health, uh, take a look at this guy's ammunition. Or don't, just don't. Three heart. And then I've got to find another body. This has got to be the last part. It's got to be. I swear to God, there's another part to this. I'm going to rage quit. How are you even seeing me? I can't even see you. Awful level. Awful fucking level. Last I thought, okay, the level's going to get better. They're giving me a gun. They're going to give me some more stuff. This is going to be the fun. This is going to be the payoff. But there was no payoff. Just pain. Fuck you! Ten out of ten DLC would 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 buy again. First level okay. Second level okay. Third level awful. Absolutely disgustingly awful. They will probably patch this. They will probably patch this to make this easier. There must be a bug somewhere. Maybe they'll give you more troops. Maybe they'll give you a will to live. Maybe they'll just make the pain stop. But I don't know. Follow me. Follow me. 
Okay, you two get on this mortar. You on this mortar, you on this mortar. And then they'll fire from that mortar whatever, at, a, at whatever's left. Now I've got to play around with the bloody mortar to move it forward. I believe in your ability to get out of here. Please don't get stuck. Charge forward. Thank God. Thank God. I believe you have a bunch of over here. I'll fire this. And I'll miss. Mortar, 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 mortar. Thank you, base mortar. Save the game again. Lie down. Find out where they're shooting from. By a large propelled gun at target. Stop panicking, carry on going. Would anyone else like to kill me and force me to restart this level? Or, or restart from the save? Yes, the answer to that is yes. you guys would like to get some health. Okay, mortar. Fire on this position. I wonder if I can spin them. Spin, spin, spin. Okay, heal up you boys. That's a good hit. This mortar is the MVP. Well done mortar. You know it's bad when the mortar is, appears to have more consistent game impact than Stalin's big guns.
Oh, Stalin's big guns can uh, kiss my ass. That's all I can say. I had 70 rounds, I'm now on my 30th round. Now, who is there left to shoot at? Who is left? I'm on this objective and there's nothing here. I suspect it'll be this fellow up there. If this level's bugged, I'm gonna freak out. Yes, there's a guy there. There's a guy. And that's still not enough. You guys wander around over here, see if there's anything worth shooting at over here. Wasn't this the tanky place? Didn't I come through here? Yeah, I did. Surely it's not been there. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it's that. Got to stop doing some aimless patrolling around until I find the targets. They may, they may be hiding in the trench. Where's the trench I came from? Where's that shagging? It's over here. Game, game, where is, what do you want me to do? Surely you don't want me to keep going that way. Do you? Do you want me to keep going that way? I mean, maybe. Oh yeah, okay. Game wants me to keep going this way. 
in my final 29 rounds. I'm going to guess the game wants me to keep going this way. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful, wonderful game. The mortar is better. The mortar is better <laughs> than the actual Stalin gun. This has got to be where they're sending me. And then I just get on the boat, yes. I can't really afford the medic to die. Uh, I'll toss a grenade behind there. This is a pure desperation now because I don't know what the game wants from me anymore. Maybe get on this, and this takes me out of the level? No. Alright, game. Can I turn off Bog of War?
No, I can't. This is why we can't have nice things, game. No longer in the village, but uh, hey ho. Yes, level so fucking scarred. <laughs> How did they think they'd get away with releasing a lightning? Like, normally there's a certain point if you kill enough of the enemy where they automatically withdraw. In this case, they've done the modders technique of having to find every single soldier on the map before you can move on. Oh, don't get me wrong, I do like Fight seeing. Well, not that much. Is this smoke? Oh no, it's napalm. Keep firing on this position. And then when you run out of ammo, give me a shout. There we are. Drive the Soviets from the village. The enemy seems to be happy to loss the railway gun. Our reserves pick up an enemy column moving his way to take that spot. There's imperative to hold your position to prevent the enemy from destroying. How? How? You've given me no troops game. Oh, thank God. Alright, so the enemy is going to be coming from over here, so if we bring the boys over here... Bring these guys over to the resupply... I can honestly say, this level has been unbearable to play. But at least they had the common decency of giving me some reinforcements here.
Right, mounting. Uh, everyone out. Set this up. Our first tank dead. Is it a flame tank? It is. I can live with the flame tank. How is ammunition on this workable? And you, can you be repaired? No, you can't. Any other spare guns I can pick up along the way? Let's take a look. Let's take a look around the map. The gun there I can pick up. And these guys can just, you know, stay where they are. Probably just stay there. I'm gonna keep the sniper alive just out of sheer willpower. I think he deserves to stay alive, I'm honest with you. How's going, guys? Give it a good work. You're dead, you've got to be dead. You see, the sad thing is, if they just balanced it a bit better, this would have been a fun level, but well, they didn't. 
It just became a slog. I've still got enough AP. Okay, that's a problem. Where's the other tank? Come on, move your ass down here. There was no need for me to go and move up there to stop that amphibious invasion. Thankfully I repaired this Russian tank, otherwise uh, this was all be for nothing. Any other rush? <laughs> any other amphibious tanks want to uh, have some fun with me? I assure you, I'm not in the mood.
surely there's going to be, surely there's something else here. Not just going to meme me. I think you are going to meme me. I have defeated the uh, amphibious attack. The amphibious tank uh, attack no longer exists. Let's stop. All right, stop going. Let's stop. Oh no, there's some more. Oh no, there's one very slow, bugged out amphibious tank. So this level was a complete mess. Um, so let's talk you through the level. So initially you've got a small squad with some elite snipers who have to move on to get to the railgun and then attack the railgun, then push people off a village and then defend from counterattacks. So you start off with no anti-tank but you do have an anti-tank gun nearby. That's fine but then of course you have to go through hordes of infantry after knocking out the two main enemy bits of armour which of course you can knock out but then because there's so many anti-tank infantry, you can't really use them. And so you have to move up the anti-tank gun and then gradually move forward all your forces in this slow, time-consuming grind until you get to the next objective. From there, you have to move and attack the railway gun. But of course, now there's enemy mortars. And of course, enemy mortars, more than likely to kill your troops if you if you if you um well if they so much just catch a whiff of you and so the best tactic there is just to yolo until you knock out the enemy mortars and move the infantry up which is, is again this idiotic and the fact is you don't get any more reinforcements really for a level this size you should have some degree of reinforcements even if it's just another squad even if it's half a squad just give me a little bit more so that i can have some room for error in this in this level and so you move up for these fours of infantry and then you eventually, with whatever you have left, you get to the, the Stalin gun. Now, then you've got to attack the village. The village is full of enemy emplacements, art artillery and tanks. And because of that, and because, you can't, and because you've got so few troops left, unless you've been playing like god mode or save scumming, <laughs> you have to play extremely slowly, extremely cautiously, the spot Stalin gun spam and the Stalin gun spam takes like two hours to reload so spot fire miss 30 seconds later spot fire miss and it's just so mind-numbingly tedious it is so bad this level is so so bad it's just not designed well it's supposed to be for tactics but when you're going for the mass assault stage you probably sort of sent me those reinforcements during the mass assault stage send me that flame tank Send me that AT tank, uh, send me that AT, send me that light armour during the push through the village. I could accept that. It could be the grand finale or the second or the, or the prelude for the grand finale where my tanks, where, where I can push forward the Stalin gun and I've got that extra infantry and it's a pat on the back and I can enjoy the fruits of my labour. That's the payoff. Then I can do the defence phase of whatever I have left and with that defence phase I cannot finish off that amphibious landing which was embarrassing. That amphibious landing was, was just bad. Altogether, that was bad. It's just, this is a bad level. Mannheim line, good. Other one after that, different, different style of gameplay. But okay, this level is bad. It just is not designed well. It is too unforgiving. It throws too much hordes of infantry at you. By the nature of the gameplay, if you tend to be moving forward, you're more than likely to take casualties and you won't spot the enemy emplacements until it's too late. And so it just leads to this constant repetition of save scum, oh I've lost my best tank, save load scum, oh I've lost the one thing that can take out the uh, the enemy mortar in time before it wipes out my infantry, load scum, it is so 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 bad this level, Stalin's gun is worse than cold supper, cold supper at least you can save scum and stealth your way through the level, this level you cannot stealth your way through, it is not a stealth level, there's too much infantry, if they were more forgiving in terms of how many you had to, enemies you had to kill before they withdrew, 
maybe it'd be better. Maybe if I had to kill half the amount of troops I, I, I killed just to push off the, uh, make, make, the uh, make, make the Russians run away or surrender at the Stalin gun. Maybe if knocking out three or four main emplacements caused the rest of the Russians to flee, then that would be fine. But as this stands, this is perhaps the worst level I have ever seen in 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 the in the game. Like this is this level is awful. I mean, there's nothing that can compare to it. However, we're done for the day. We are done for the day. This level is out of the way. I'm done. I'm happy. It's out of the way. I've completed it. Pat on my back. I'm not playing on some hard or anything like that. We'll move on to the next level tomorrow. So, victory, you've done it. We now have two heavy artillery pieces and a train load of ammo on top of that. This is a big result. The notion can't be too far from you now. The railway guns will be towed to our lines tomorrow, and it won't take long before we'll be able to use them against the previous owners. Great job. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. We're done for the day, boys. We're going to move on to Food of Fire, Northern Gambit, and Bridge Too Far. And we're also going to do some of the skirmish campaigns uh, later on in the game um, probably tomorrow but that was it it is a uh, oh it's been mixed this DLC from the main campaign so far I can see what they're going with elite Finnish troops who are better than the Russians but less in number going up against large forces and having to scavenge off the land I can get that I can understand that but there just isn't enough payoff I mean it, the first level was acceptable the first level is although I won it on a larger scale uh, with like more whores of imagery and so on and perhaps more finished troops reinforcing the second level is a different take but this level was bad like it was it was the peace de resistance of piss all right <laughs> but hey -o, thank you for watching boys this is done we will continue on tomorrow thank you very much adieu